Okay. Okay, so it's like 314 on my clock. Um, I don't know how. Um, I, I screwed up. I screwed up. Um, I was painting and I was really into it. And I, yeah. Uh, so there you are. And uh, I've got this. At one point in my life, I considered this to be done. I got a, I got a, a heart thumb seller. Thank you. Um, I considered this to be done. You know, he's uh, he's Ned, and he's fighting this uh, ogre. You can tell this is a fantasy drawing because somehow or another, Ned's going to win and not get eaten by this damn thing. Which, uh, in real life, that thing would eat you. So anyway. Um, now I'm I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and uh, Sharon says Monday special free monkey with purchase. That's right. Uh, uh, yeah, bad monkey. Ned versus the bad monkey. And uh, sort of the anti Bunday because we're gonna cover his ass, um, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, like I said, I've I've. Uh, my audience has suddenly expanded. Hi, sissy. Um, my audience has expanded to a bigger audience. I got more people looking at my stuff. And uh, as dumb as it is, you show a crowd of people a uh, guy in a thong. And uh, that's all they talk about is that thong. You know, like, you know, like <laughs> the sword will never be mentioned. The monster will never be mentioned. You know, the action and the excitement and the drama will never be mentioned you know i will have 47 comments about a thong and uh, it's kind of not what i want out of my career i guess plus uh i don't know i i never intended to go anywhere with these you know make a painting or anything but now i've got it in my head these are all going to be paintings so i'm just like i'm not going to put a lot of clothes on this guy i'm just going to put a little bit of clothing on this guy as in, uh, you know, that loincloth thing that goes down between your legs gets pulled up into a wedgie and then folds over this, uh, it folds over this piece of cloth or depending on how it ties around, it might fold under. And uh, off it goes over here. So um, I always have it swing into the side because if it hung straight down, it would look static um much like that ponytail looks static i think we're going to change that too um just having that hair just hang but straight down uh it looks like he is not really moving and i want him to be moving i want this to be a moving experience so i don't know maybe we could have a wake for ned's butt but uh, so something like that, we got we got a uh, loincloth blowing in the breeze here. And uh, now we're going to go right ahead and do something with the hair. Now, one of the things <clears throat> I often don't have the loincloth go in this direction because it's going to tangle up with that sword sheath, uh, which it would in real life. It's just it's not something I want to draw. It is, uh, you know, I don't want to draw the scabbard. And I don't want to draw things that mix up your eye and make you go, I, I don't understand what I'm looking at, you know? So I want to, uh, um, I want to put that loincloth over here where it's not going to confuse you. And I want to put that hair someplace where it doesn't mess up the action. Um, or it doesn't delete the uh, doesn't delete the action, or confuse you and make you say, "I don't know what's what's happening with the top of this guy's head." Um, so, so what am I going to do? I could always give him shorter hair. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so, what am I? Let's let's be serious. Let's consider a serious option. Um, Yeah, I think I just want to kind of kind of 
kind of go that direction. I worry that that's going to, yeah, that's going to rob me of too much of the, of what's going on. Now the arm connects to the shoulder and everything is just like, you hide that behind something and suddenly it's not really clear. So I'm going to do something more like that. And let's see how that goes. So yes, to an extent, I'm kind of bolderizing my uh, my drawings, so they'll be inoffensive. Um, but there is also the fact that if I had intended to take this to a finished stage, where I'm going to make a oil painting out of it and put it uh, in a um, in a sci-fi convention or something like that where I'm going to offer it for sale, the probability of it selling is higher <laughs> uh, if I'm covering up his butt. Uh, Sharon says covering those butts is criminal, but I'm excused uh, for being late because I was painting. Good. Uh, and Sissy says, dude, I don't, I don't know what dude is. Uh, you're putting a lot on the right side of the frame. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. And you are correct. You're correct. Um, I wonder about that. Now that I'm, now that I'm looking, it would be good to have something, something going that way. Um, do. -do. I think that's the right thing to do. Thank you. There you go. Cool. Um, so yeah. We will establish that it goes under that scabbard. We'll establish that in a bit. Um, so yeah, I think that was the correct move. What else? Just smudge that a bit. Then I'm going to erase that a bit. A lot of these lines are pretty clearly established, and it's hard to erase them uh, out of the paper at this point. So my little white chalk comes in very handy about now to really just kind of block that out and uh that's all right i think i don't know seems likely that his hair is flipping in the same direction as his loincloth. Unless he's down in the mosh pit and just really flipping his head around and shaking his booty. Which I'm sure he does. Just not sure he's doing it right now. I'm a little inclined to want to uh, deepen his stance 
uh, kick that knee further, put that foot for, further forward, bend his knee more, and uh, intensify the action. I'm a little afraid of that because I'm making it up at this point. I don't have uh, a photo. In front of me, I may have a photo somewhere. For some reason, I couldn't put my greasy little hands on it right before I was trying to trying to do the video, and I had to just give up because I was 14 minutes late. Um, but yeah, having a having the previous sketch down there. I'm kind of sketching next to my sketch, which is visually a little confusing to me as well as you. But in a way, it's a little bit helpful because, you know, if you got a, if you got a line on the paper and you want to draw that, that line again, you know, you can just follow along and, and draw that line again. So it's a little helpful to have. To have that uh, that line to copy. Now, if I thought there was a market for finished oil paintings of an absolutely naked man fighting trolls. Um, I'd probably just go right ahead and paint that. Women too. It's kind of funny. I, uh, earlier today, um, I had posted something else. It was actually from a day or two ago, um, on one of my other groups, I had posted, uh, a, a picture of a girl in a in a, one of my outfits that I dressed them up in and had a lot of good response and and uh, one lady said you ever thought about drawing men <laughs> and uh, I was like well you need to go over to my page and have a look uh, so she did which is cool so. I was kind of like, funny you should say that on a Monday. I don't know, that's a little funky looking because I did not have a photo reference for it. But I might make it, might be able to fix it. Have a look and see what my comments are.
Oh, Sissy says the dude was just recovering those buns. I'm with Sharon on this one. That's criminal. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. But there it went. There went the buns. Uh, does Ned need to be more muscular? Does he need bigger biceps, or is that just... Uh, is that just uh, me caving into stereotypes? I have a tendency to want to beef him up. We've had a few male models, but none of them were Conan. Sissy says, I think he's fine. You can be fit without being super beefy. Um, I can't be either. I don't know. doesn't matter how much ice cream and candy I eat. I just never get uh, really slim and trim. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so I would like to do more to the background. I mean, not a lot, but something. Um, because, you know, so far it's just a mundane picture. It needs some element of fantasy in the picture to tell you that this is not a real place that we're in. <clears throat> Got a little bit of the triangular composition. I like that. I want to make sure anything I do over here kind of kind of helps that doesn't take away from it. Hi, 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 hi. I could put some gnarly trees. This kind of made me think of that. It's just kind of... Yeah, I could have a log on the ground. In Frazetta paintings, a lot of the times, um, there'll be a, a log knocked over on the ground. And, uh, you know, Gandalf and the dwarves are walking by or something. But when you look up close on the, on the log, there's like little, there's like little skull shapes in, in there and stuff like that, or other little faces in the branches and things like that. It's, it's pretty cool. It's subtle, but it's pretty cool. Um, I think you're looking at the food pyramid upside down if all you're eating is ice cream and candy. No. No. Uh, you know, you're, you're wrong. It's just wrong. So that's kind of like that, kind of like that. Um, <clears throat> if I'm assuming that I'm going to paint this on a canvas that's the same size as this, and I do have some of those, um, 
then I'll have room to, you know, make a tall mountain behind them or a castle up on a hill or something. So another possible composition is this, um, this kind of thing. It gives action because it's kind of the, this explosion kind of feeling, you know, kind of a thing. And you can do that with trees or uh, curtains or uh, cave walls or something. Um, so that is possible to do like a suggestion of a forest. Even though we all know trees don't move very much, um, you know, if there's this sort of leaning and tilting and everything, there's there's this sense of of frenetic action going on that there's uh, this thing's been busting through or or something, you know. I sort of like that. Painter's order. Yep. I have, in fact, put on a quarantine or so of extra pounds. It's also been really hot and I haven't been getting out and riding my bike. Blah, blah, blah. I'm depressed and feeling sorry for myself when I do that. I eat ice cream. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, Ned fighting the troll in the woods. I just went to the uh, the bird store where I buy all my seeds and and junk to feed the birds, and uh, I, I've been discovering that. The more food we put out, we just get more birds, actually. And so, uh, you know, you, you don't. Uh, uh, Sissy says, "I like how how that looks." Thank you. I, I I like it too. I think it's I think it's pretty cool. When I turn around and look at the computer screen, I like it even better because because uh, it doesn't give me a headache. This gives me a headache. <laughs> but um, I, I thought maybe if I put out lots of food, it would last a few days. Um, but it just turns out I get more birds and it lasts one day, no matter how much I put out. But anyway, um, I, I went out and bought some more. And uh, was talking to the lady at the store. It's, it's curbside service, so she comes out and we're both wearing masks. And, and um, I said something about COVID and she's, she, she has lost seven friends and family uh, to COVID and have died. And three people have not died, but um, three people that worked at that store have it and uh, are sick with it right now. Um, so obviously one one came in and gave it to the other two. Um, so yeah, it's devastating uh, 
thing. Um, how long ago, Sissy says she put up bird seed and water and got no birds. How, how long ago did you do that? It took us, it seemed like it was two weeks uh, before, and maybe longer, maybe close to a month before I ever saw a bird on my uh, bird feeder. And I was joking back then that that was the most effective bird repellent I, I'd ever bought in my life. Um, but once they found it, boy, they found it. And, and, uh, we've been very popular since then and we really enjoy it. I mean, it's like, uh, when you first, when we first get up in the morning, it's nice and cool outside. So we get some, uh, you know, get some, uh, coffee and go sit outdoors and we get a lot of, uh, get a lot of birds coming. Uh, Sharon says fall migrations happening. You might see some new ones. Um, yeah, we saw some new ones a few weeks ago, and we've seen them return off and on. Um, so I think they're they're hanging around here somewhere, but they are summer summer birds, so they're probably on their way out soon. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, what else? Anyways, I, I like this a lot better. I mean, it, it, there was a there was a figure and there was a monster. Um, his bare buns, notwithstanding, um, it, there was a exciting action thing going on. I don't know. I got that far and was distracted and put the paper away and did something else at that moment and, and uh, never came back to it. And I've got a thousand more just like that. And um, so I'm trying to go through and make something that's more of a complete image and more of a statement and more of a story. And it really doesn't take much, as we saw. I mean, that's uh, that whole background is just uh, some stray lines, you know, with some shadow and some highlights on it. And, and that really can uh, uh, do it. Um, uh, Sharon says... O T O H. The fires here have been very hard on them. Uh, on the other hand, right? Yeah, I'm not good at that for some reason. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the fires are brutal. I haven't seen any wildlife here, uh, and I'm not likely to because we're well into the middle of civilization out here. But uh, when I was a kid, there was a really bad forest fire not too far from where we lived up in Prescott and uh, we got every description of wildlife in the backyard and uh, the, a lot of things I didn't see but we found footprints for um, I had kept a uh, uh, had a big galvanized um, tin wash basin and of course I was little and, and I, I just I would fill it up with water and I'd float boats in it and stuff like that you know it's just a plaything for me but um usually my parents made me dump it out you know when i was done so that you know it didn't stink or or stuff like that and, and of course i would just leave it and um so we would get uh and it was muddy around because i made a mess you know it was muddy around the thing and um so we got footprints you know so there were hoof marks and there were large cat-like and dog-like uh, footprints in the in the mud because things came in the middle of the night to drink uh, drink water. Things that we didn't normally see. Um, not necessarily things that weren't normally around, as it turns out. Uh, there was a few years back, my dad was still living on that at, at that house. Um, there was a construction project going on where they'd torn up all the pavement in the street and uh, in the middle of the day, a mountain lion walked out from between the two houses uh, right across the road, out into the middle of the construction, <laughs> where all the people were standing around going, oh, hey! And, and then it just ran up the, 
up the road. I never, ever, ever in my life saw a mountain lion <laughs> uh, outside of the zoo. But uh, yeah, she came, she came right out, out from behind, you know, between neighbors' houses. Um, so that was interesting, and there, they probably always were some, you know, but usually at night. Um, but they think she was, she'd been sleep. I, I don't know why I said she, it, it uh, had been just sleeping under the rose bushes or something, um, and decided uh, had enough of the noise and machinery and <laughs> decided to leave. So, yeah, uh, fun stuff. I understand people out on the outskirts of our town, out the, the outskirts of the valley and other places in California or whatever, are seeing similar things. There, you know, if they put out um, a basin of water. <clears throat> for the animals to drink in you'll you'll see footprints and you'll and maybe you'll see see some wildlife so um yeah yeah not a good reason but it could be fun to see him and so anyway i am doing a lot of this i'm going back through my stacks and and uh hoping to make some more painting worthy things I want to show you, except my hands are pretty dirty. Uh, I want to show you two things. All right. Got this one going. It's a woman standing in front of this dragon thing. Um, I think I showed that last week, but I basically all I had was the yellow sky done in back. And then. Uh, I've got this one. I don't know how much you can see. It's uh, Ned walking through the dungeon, um, and uh, he's getting mobbed by a bunch of little critters, goblins and skeletons and dragons and stuff. And um, somewhere in the middle of sketching this guy, it started to look to me less like he was being attacked and more like everybody else was in the middle of a big argument and wanted him to to settle it for them. There's, there's, they, they look more like they're arguing with each other to me. So um, I'm just kind of rolling with that, uh, that sense. Uh, you can tell yourself whatever story you like. So I have those two on the easel. Um, I, can have a bad habit of starting too many things and, and overwhelming myself and not getting anything done. So um, I'm going to stick to those two until those two are done and then start more. But my God, I've got a bunch of them. So that's it. That's all I got. And uh, this is Monday. So presumably uh, we'll do more tomorrow. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day, guys.